Hi, I'm Jen Giffen. I've been teaching 16 years in the York Region District School Board, just north of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm a digital literacy resource teacher, supporting approximately 8,000 teachers with the effective integration of technology to enhance their pedagogy. G Suite apps and other tech tools are a huge part of my daily work. I have delivered PD on these tools in my district, as well as at different conferences like the EdTech Team Summit, YRDSB EdTech Camp, and I will be at Connect 2017. I believe in making professional development relevant, practical, engaging, and hands-on. I want to be a Google Education Certified Trainer to extend the scope of my coaching. I also want to connect and collaborate with the Trainer Network to deepen my learning so I can continue to make an impact on the teachers in my district. I love showing teachers a new tool that clearly ignites the fire within them. What I especially love is the email follow-up telling me how they tried one new thing and how it impacted their practice and in turn their students. What, what the heck? Who's just sorted this? There's a filter on location. Andre is at Glen Shield. What the? Oh, come on! Who just? Okay, so I need to find out these schools. So I'm just going to use my filter right here. Perfect. Okay, my school. Oh, who sorted this sheet for the third right time? Now. Apps in the G Suite allow us an unparalleled ability to collaborate in real time. But in situations like we just saw, it can cause problems. In this screencast, two accounts are on the same sheet. Notice when we apply a filter on the sheet on the left, it's automatically applied to the sheet on the right. This was the problem earlier. Luckily, we have a workaround called filter views, which when applied, are filters seen only by one person. To create a filter view, you want to select data on the menu bar and scroll down to filter views. Select create a filter view and a gray bar will appear at the top. Name your filter something that will make sense to you. Select the column with your criteria, select the criteria you wish to filter, and click OK. Now the sheet on the left has a filter applied, which doesn't affect the view of the other people on the sheet, like the view on the right. To close a filter, simply click the white X in the top right hand corner. Now let's say someone adds data to your data set. This is not a big deal. Any new data that fits the criteria will be included in the filter view. If you want to delete a filter view, simply go to the white gear and hit delete. Filter views can be used by all stakeholders in the school community to sort through sets of data without affecting the views of others in their analysis of grade, student information, assessment data, and system needs.